Hi. So I'm going to be taking a break from making my reviews, my gaming reviews. If you like those, please check them out. And uh, to watch this video, uh, it's a PS5 tech demo of Unreal's Epic Engine. Unreal Epic. Epic. Epic is epic. Oh, well, yeah. So. Okay. I have it full screen. Why are there two guys here? Okay. Let's. I don't know. They're, they're gonna introduce this new epic technology of the PS5 Unreal Engine PS5 tech demo. Let's go. I, I had coffee, so I'm pretty, you know. Hello, I'm Brian Karras. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, guys. It's the PS5. Why is it in 1080p? Cool, cool, cool. So, um, I was at IGN's what, channel, which they had the trailer in 1080p. I have no idea why I clicked on that. This is the uh trailer on unreal's youtube channel which is at 4k so watch that if you want to watch something let's go oh oh hello i'm brian karras technical hello graphic here at epic games mm -hmm. Hi, i'm joan petro i'll jack joan petro from Bojack. a few years ago we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward state-of-the-art and real-time graphics there were two key areas that stood out the first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting, instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be flat out. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. We are about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward. Truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. You could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for us. I just want to be able to import my... Dude, I just want to see the games. Photogrammetry scan. My Show me your game. Wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame. I'm learning video game development, so I should probably pay attention, but show me something. We call this new technology Namite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. The future of Unreal Engine PS5. This has to be the right way. Eh, I don't know. You could make this character model in a PS4. Yo. Uh, the birds kind of... I'm paying way too much attention, but the environments look Beautiful. Of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we use the cinematic versions, which would typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each. Holy shit! Game, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame. That nanite crunches down wow. to around 20 million drawn triangles. What Yo. Does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. Wow, this is an actual de tech demo and not a trailer. They're so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and nanite can do that too. Oh yeah. Speaking of light, Look at the shadows. All of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic. With the power of Lumen, that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light map, no baking here. So ray tracing? GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Yo! Okay, let's keep going. Wow. We've made some great additions to our audio. <laughs> Holy yikes. Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual space. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Yeah, I I don't know. The environments look really impressive, but the character models, uh, they look like PS4-ish. I mean, have you played Uncharted 4? This swarm of bats was created with a Niagara... Yo! 
particles in Niagara can now talk Oh my god. And their environment like never before. No. Yo. Oh my god. I added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Holy. Wow. Dude, imagine a shadow of the Colossus made using this. We are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rock and the cloth of her scarf. Yo. Wow. Now, is that an engine demo supposed to represent the best uh, the PlayStation 5 could do? Or is this like the base from which people are going to be starting to develop on the PS5? needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. Yeah, the character models really stick out in this beautiful world. Like they look like a character model, you know? Any light source can move while still having beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination. But still, this is really whoa. You can even see the Niagara powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Wow. Remember we mentioned high poly asset? Yeah. The statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room. Come on. Over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Whoa. <laughs> over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. Wow. Is the secret of life there? I'm gonna. I, I, am I gonna know why I exist in this world? Oh my god, the light of truth? No! You can't do that. So with mana, you have limitless geometry, and with lumen, you have fully dynamic. Oh my god. <laughs> do it. This looks like a movie. PlayStation 5. Yo. Yo. Blood. Oh no, this is like the destruction sequence. Run! There's not much time left. There's not much time left. Run! Small room. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. They had to do this. Whoa! <laughs> it's open. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making one of our bitches. Just, I'm just and dude, this is a game. It's a tech demo, I know, but whoa, dude. Okay, that's a tech demo. Like no game would ever let you do, you know this. Escape to safety. Go. And this is where it ends. The past, the future, the present. Yes. <laughs> Unreal Engine. Version 5.
All right, cool. So coming in 2021, which, you know, I'm guessing early 2021, the PS5 is going to launch this uh, holiday season. And uh, there isn't much to say here. I mean, okay, so what did I think? Uh, I think the environment work and the lighting work is absolutely freaking beautiful in the game or in the demo. The character model is hit and miss with me. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this character model is... <laughs> okay, so... Mm, I'm not a developer. I'm learning how to develop games. I just started today, but just saying, I don't know. This character model it's, it looks totally possible with the PS4. I don't know. Just saying. Um, so the environments look pretty good, cool. Uh, the particle effects look much improved. Not much improved. I'd say they're like they're definitely improved. The way like the rocks are falling and. Because that was a big issue with the PS4, where like whenever you'd have like particles and stuff, it would. I, I, I don't know what the word is for it, but you could clearly tell it's not natural, and uh, it seems to be much improved, much improved here. So the environments, the lighting, the physics seems seem to be much better. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I am excited for this generation of consoles, obviously, uh, because I love games and. Uh, but um, other than the character model, uh, I don't really have any much notes from what I've seen in this short demo. So, yeah. Well, if you like, I'm assuming you're here because you either, I don't know, you're here because you want to see next-gen technology or because you like Sony and PlayStation. In that case, I made Uncharted reviews. So, if you like Uncharted, I already reviewed the game. You can check the review out. And with that being said, for those of you who are watching, wherever you may be in this world, thank you guys for watching. And uh, stay alive until the next video.